Now I'm a firm believer in the bare face, as I said before, so I'm gonna start off really, really easy on this. But I have a lot of fun with cosmetics. I think, I think makeup, when it's used properly, can make the skin look absolutely beautiful. Right. Taking what we have and just accentuating that. When we're talking a little bit about the beauty standard and the, and the beauty standard that we grew up in, in terms of fashion, I kind of want to bridge some of what we... We did in the 80s. Did, well, it's not only about it did yeah. in the 80s, just what we did for a living. Yeah. And I just love to dress a beautiful face. I love to dress any face, but my inspiration comes from, from the bear. I never want to do anything that isn't as beautiful as what I'm looking at right now. So anyway, start with concealer. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Okay, look up. I'm just going to do a little bit of a, a little bit of something in here. We're done where the eyes start to settle because she's got these wonderful cheekbones and the eyes start to settle. It's a very common situation for women. And the nice thing about, you know, prepping the skin with the creams and all the things that we did, the nice thing about that is that the makeup is going to go on, re it's not going to go in, into the skin, it's just going to be blended in to the, to the, the surface of the skin. You don't want to leave a lot, you don't want to make up on dry skin, it just soaks it in, it causes deeper problems in the derma. Yeah. Okay, the wonderful thing about prepping the skin and getting the skin really looking beautiful um, and moist is before you start makeup, is that the makeup will, will, will glide onto the surface of the skin. You've already kind of sealed it with the toners real good at sealing, closing pores. Cream, it, it's all keeping it from getting into your skin. It, it, it's just, it's a nice, allows it to glide on over the surface of the face. Mm -hmm. So I like having this much moisturizer. It might feel like, you know, do I really have to do that, you know? Yeah, you do. Now, um, what I'm going to use on Dawn to just blend that concealer that I've done out, mm -hmm. because this is really going to be a photo finish yeah. to some degree, is that I'm just going to take my, I like this, uh, the, the um, Smart Cover makeup because it has a lot of pigment in it. We know from my last video, mm, damp pigment. sponge, just drag a little of that pigment off the top of that, get it on your sponge, and then you just start blending it over her yeah. over damp, her skin. The damp sponge helps with, you know, getting it to, to glide on better. Well, it, it does. It's got a twofold uh, effect. Um, it keeps it from absorbing into the sponge where you're, you're, you know, you're putting all the makeup that you put on is actually being soaked up into the sponge. Mm -hmm. Just turns it all around. Makes it all, blends it all out smooth. And the thing is that this is a very strong pigment. However, you just don't use a lot. I stay away from the lines because I don't like to get makeup into lines. I don't think the problem, the problems to, to work with here are in the lines. The lines are, the, are our friend. I like the lines. So I'm not going to go all in here trying to make her, yeah. you don't, I don't understand the concept of diminishing yeah. because the more attention you pay to something, the more attention you bring to it. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, when you're... A little bit goes a long way. Exactly, yeah. you know, so what I like to do with the damp sponge, and you're going to see that I don't rub the makeup in, I tap it in. Mm -hmm. I literally am just tapping it in, you know, and at the same time, she's getting a great massage. On this, mm. on that face, it feels good. Yeah, you know, it's like getting a, it's like getting, getting a massage. Right. Mm. Nice, right? Yeah. Now this is this is a photo shoot. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just blending her her skin, the skin tone out, um, getting it even, just to start. This is just the beginning. You know, if you have a, like a really dewy uh, liquid makeup in your kit, mm -hmm. um, what this is going to do is kind of like add a little more moisturizer into what I've just done, and you're going to see right away what that what the um, you're going to see right away what this does. Right. Now this is this is photo shoot, photo finish, photo yeah. finish. Yeah. Okay. But understand too that as we go, 
this makeup is going to actually shrink. It, right now it looks like a, but you're going to see right away that this just is going to bring all of that skin tone back in there. So Joseph, my question what? is, yeah, if this I, wasn't a photo finish, um, would you do something different? I mean, we oh, are doing I would, a photo shoot today. So would this be different for women who are just home and want to? Uh, I, think, I think I would just concentrate on if you have some freckles or some dark circles or things yeah. you want to cover. I'd probably use the smart cover for that because like I said, it's a strong pigment uh -huh. and it'll do the trick. You almost don't even need a concealer with that. Okay. What I'm doing with, you know, what concealer and makeup does is it gives the light a chance to reflect off the something. Skin mm -hmm. absorbs light. Mm -hmm. Makeup reflects light. So as an artist, you know, and trying to get a, 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 photo, a photogenic photography finish, mm -hmm. as an artist, I want to use that rule as much as I can. I want as much of the areas to reflect the light so that I can contour and create a beautiful thing out of her bone structure and eyes that's going to photograph natural believe it or not mm -hmm. okay look up for me this is just a really really dewy uh chanel vita luminiere you know and i love it because it gives a little bit of that gold back into the skin it's dewy so i don't mind hitting the lines i'm not going to put powder on that yeah. um it, it, it's just a wonderful way to take everything I've done and make it one blended effect. And I'm also, because it's so moist and dewy, it's actually kind of taking, the sponge is actually taking some of it back off. You can feel that happening, yeah, right, Don? You feel like you're getting less makeup as the, the more I put it yeah. on, right? Uh -huh. Well, you are, because I'm actually absorbing, that's what, uh, the makeup as I, continue to tap it in. I'm, I'm putting it down by a double hit. I'm taking it off if I, um, with a single hit. I'm, I'm doing all kinds of things. It is called blending, but now you can see that I've actually brought her skin back to, the, to her natural. It's so important to blend, I think. Well, you know, I, I kind of just want them to get the idea of what it's like to, to play with, um, to, to play with makeup I mean, everybody's kind of captivated by the fashion industry. They think, wow, you know, that's so, how, I want to be able to, how can I look like that? Yeah. What can I do? There's women out there that all shapes, all sizes, all ages that are saying, oh, so hey, gorgeous. I like to look great. What can I do? And I'm just showing you, you know, I can do, I can do a, another day makeup, easy light makeup on Dawn like I did in the other video. However, I kind of wanted to get that feeling I'm gonna, we're gonna get some shots of Dawn on set <laughs> wearing some beautiful clothes and accessories. I just wanted to capture that feeling. Yeah. So this is where I'd go with the, this is where, where I'd go with the foundation in order to get that as, as smooth and blended as I can. Oh yeah. Hey look, nothing like a roll of tissue. And, and another thing you can do, particularly ladies with, uh, oilier skin is you can blot this so if you have oilers oilier skin, yeah you just blot what you've right. done so if you're in instead your of doing the powder stage because right. sometimes older skin doesn't like the powder I'm actually blotting it back off and I can see all those incredible botanical treatments we put on yeah. your skin really Doing giving your right. skin the buoyancy to hold yeah. to hold this yeah. you see so I mean actually yeah you know, this is what um, this is what makeup should kind of look like. So you see, and you can even use your fingers. I know a lot of people made comments about the video. Oh, thumb fingerprints, fingerprints. I just don't. I don't get that. Uh, the the warmth of the finger. It's my a hands are. Pad. It, 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 yeah. You know, it's blending. You know, it's an art. So yeah, maybe. Maybe somebody might think that's, oh, he's leaving fingerprints. Somebody might think that. Mm -hmm. The truth is, you know, I'm, the warmth of my finger is warmer than the surface of her skin and makeup sets at skin temperature. So I'm able to, to move this and blend this, mm. thin it out, right, where we don't need as much. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a great relationship to beautiful women with beautiful skin. I think you can see a little bit what's happening already. 
So what I'm going to do, because I love her sun-kissed look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a, just a little believable bronzer from, from a Smart Cover. But I love it because it blends so easily, right? Have you been using it? I mean, yeah. it goes on and you don't feel like, it, you know, you have to be an expert yeah. to use it. It, it. It's almost like a little bit of a finishing powder. So it's just going to go in. Mm -hmm. I'm using it a little bit as a finishing powder and also I'm using it a little bit as a contour. You know, I want to get this sun-kissed look back up into the face. So, pardon me for... Mm -hmm. You know, just going to think about that where the sun hits and then, you know, under the chin. I just want to get her, this color, up into oh, the top. I like this brush. It's a yeah. MAC, and I believe it's half synthetic, oh, so we're halfway okay. to vegan. <laughs> I think they'll probably eventually do it oh, all the all, way. They're all going. They're all on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's talk about getting the animals out of the, you know, yeah. the, stop, let's stop killing animals to be pretty. Yeah. Because no, how can you feel go, pretty now and you going. put something on your face that they had to hurt, yeah. to hurt an animal to yeah. get? You know, I mean, I don't, I can't even, yeah, I, mean, I, can't, I, I can't even use fur in a, you know, it's like yeah. we're not using fur in a picture. We, we yeah. stopped doing that years ago. I mean, yeah. who's going to use animal skin? I mean, we're not Native American, they, which, yeah. you know, and they honored, they, pray, they, they worshiped the animal. Most they honored the animal. Yeah. They needed the animal. They had nothing else to and keep them was, warm. That but that whole, was a whole other time. That was a whole spirituality thing. They prayed and gave and, and were so humbly thankful to yeah. the animal. To give them, yeah. um, but but all the brands now realize that people are demanding it, so they're all switching. From what I heard, they're all trying to switch, um, which is good because mm -hmm. you know. But I I look for brands that um, that are cruelty free and vegan. Those are that, that's where where, I, where my go to place. <laughs> now imagine yeah. that I've done cream prep cream foundation, liquid foundation, concealer, and I'm going right at her with skin with a bronzer. You ladies know when you're working at home, that could, that could mean a disaster because that bronzer will stick to whatever, to that makeup. But look at how, how nice the blend is. Sorry, my brushes shed, shed a little because uh -huh. I washed them pretty vigorously. Smile for me. And, you know, look at how that's blending over that, over that makeup. I mean, I just love the way, I mean, this is just my personal, this is what I do. Everybody does differently. Every time you go and get your makeup done, you're doing this a little bit differently. But I love my ability to take that little bit of bronzer on this brush and massage it a little bit, because the brush is soft, like mm -hmm. you said, massage it a little bit into all those areas that are gonna get, get the sun, mm -hmm. take the sun. So I'm already getting a really, really sun-kissed look back into that skin. I mean, I know it's a little dramatic, and we're going to blend that down, but I love it. I think it's beautiful. You, you, you look like you just walked off the beach. It looks fantastic. I love that. Bringing all of this up into the face. You know, always blend. You know, for me, sometimes if I'm not doing a big photo shoot like I'm doing today, right. I love just that. Like what yeah, just, just that and maybe a, a little, little concealer. A little concealer, yeah. a little mascara. A little mm -hmm. bit of a, a light gloss on my lips and, you know. And I'm not afraid, you know, this is almost like could be a little bit of a, of a uh, you know, a YouTube how-to, YouTube how-to video on makeup that makeup artists are people that want to play with makeup because yeah. that's what I, I I'm here You're because I want to play. It's like a palette. It's a beautiful <laughs> palette, you know. Thank so you. anyway, I'm. He always makes me feel good. I'm feeling really good about the way that looks. I really, really am. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Now, a lot of people are picking up this, these things these days. It's just like a, it's a shimmer. And they're like, where do I highlight? Where do I highlight my face, right? That's the big question. The where big do question. I highlight? I don't want to look like the Tin Man in the yeah. end, you know? Yeah. So I just get a little bit on a brush, you know? I always brush the back of my hand, see what I'm getting, see how much is coming off. And then I just really lightly want to just glide it. There's a bone there. I don't want to touch it now because I've got it all so blended. <laughs> but there's a bone here, and that's where you want to go. If you get into this area, it's going to look shiny. It's going to look like it's oiling up. But if you put it here, every time you smile, 
you catch the light. And, and I love that. that. Little, yeah. Little sort of it just glow. catches, yeah. it just, just causes it to catch the light when you smile. You know? I love that. I love that. I mean, some people run it down the nose. I, I think we're okay for now on that, you know. But, um, okay, now, the next thing I want to do, because we're doing a photo shoot, look up for me. This area around the eye, that eye gel worked amazing. Wow. Yeah. Botanicals can do that now. Thank you. Thank you. Go pure. Yeah, go pure. Go. And that eye gel has... Uh, plant stem cell. So that's why it gives it that uh, extra. The, uh, uh, look, yeah. I, your eyes are looking amazing underneath. There's a real tone. They're lifted. They're smooth. Yeah. Um, it, it, it looks fantastic. Now, the only thing that I do, which might uh, actually conflict with some of my philosophy about no powder, mm -hmm. is I will, in the interest of keeping this a little bit firm under the eyes, Give me that little squint that I love. Oh, yeah, that. That one. Yeah, right there, babe. And I'm going to hit that powder right there on each side. This is going to really set it for me, where I need to set that powder. And this is, this is for the studio light. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to look like it's, you know, powder, especially the translucent, you know, the completely sheer translucent, high definition translu powder. Everybody, everybody's got it. High translucent, um, uh, high definition powder. I just want to hit it over those areas that will take the shine. The beauty about this powder is that it has no pigment. Pigment is what puts more makeup. Pigment is what puts more makeup into the face. Mm -hmm. So the problem that a lot of d ladies do is they buy a beautiful foundation, matches their skin perfect, and then the powder matches it too. Well, what you've done is doubled the pigment. Right. And then they get that dark line, and they look like this. My goal is not to, is to make her look really good for the camera and the lights and all that, but my goal is for her to look translucently beautiful in the end. These are stages that you have to take. Mm -hmm. I have to go in there and set that shine down now. It will come back, but it'll just come back because, uh, you know, her when she moves, when she there's a little warmth in the room, she's going to shine up a little. But that's going to be the right shine. So that's why I'm 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 knocking back these spots in here. Okay, mm -hmm. and especially you know any place that you shine, T zones are always tricky. Right. So I like to take the translucent powder. And use my sponge. I'm using the opposite side, though. This is the side I've blended all the makeup. I turn it over to the clean side. Oh, interesting. And use the... Um, now, the other thing you can think about when you're doing this stage is that when you spill, uh, you know, some oil, right, on some fabric, and what's, what do they tell you? What does is, what is, um, uh, Martha Stewart tell you to do to fix that? You put baking soda baking on Baking soda, which is like a powder. So almost. it <laughs> absorbs. What yeah. does the baking soda do? It absorbs the oil. Right. So in a sense, what I'm doing with this powder is I'm absorbing. Give me that squeeze it one more time. Oh. I'm going to just... Which one? Down the, here? Watch me. That's it. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm letting the translucent powder is actually absorbing some of the makeup back off. It's also, it actually is like yeah. taking it back away. So the more that I work, the more that her skin is gonna look completely natural and translucent. This is a, another smart cover thing. It's called a glow stick and we love this, right? I mean, isn't this like the easiest yeah. thing in the world to use? You just, give me a little schmuck. Just use a little bit on the lip, like that. Already just bam, just, just bam. Just that little bit of color that you put it. Pop. You can put a little bit on the eyelids. Make her blue eyes more more blue. You can take this now. Th this particular step that I'm going to do, I recommend using a little on the top of your hand, and just give me a little smile. Just putting that the most color on the cheek right there. Wow, this is multi-purpose. Oh no, it, it, it's Lip. yeah, and it, <laughs> and, it, and it's yeah. cool. it's beautiful. I mean, it's such, it's such an affordable product. Smart cover, yeah. you can find it online. It's yeah. such an affordable product. 
Um, yeah, you love spicy. Yeah, food. I like it because it's a it it's, and it's easy for it's women. It's easy and it's not well. expensive. Yeah. And give me that little smile, and you can see I just want to heighten the color just a little bit more right there. Yeah. Even more sunk. You can see that that's even more pulling the color yeah. into her face. We don't. We don't want to be brown. Let's try to let, let's try to pull some of the brown out of all the uh, all the makeup we're, we're we're walking around in. You know, it doesn't have to be so uninteresting to be beautiful. I think people got to where they wanted to use less color because mm -hmm. they thought, oh well, it won't look like I'm wearing makeup. It's how you apply it and the colors that you use. Yeah, so much about how you apply it. Oh yeah. So don't be afraid to you know to 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 do something like this. You know? Yeah, ladies, experiment. Have fun. Look how beautiful. I mean, we're Just ready fun. to go. Right? <laughs> yeah. Am I not right? We're ready to go. <laughs> you know, this is the beauty of, of having a beautiful complexion that maybe you've picked up a few tips from me today on how to get that. And, and then just keeping it really, really simple and pretty from that point on. Now, later on, we're going to get a little more glamorous because I do that really well. So now, at this stage, I just want to curl the lash up because I've already got a sense of what, how the mouth with a little more color and the cheeks with a little more color is going to give me to the final effect. Um, so let me, let me go in here and just, you're just going to rest that right on the lid. I know it feels scary. Yeah. And then you, you give it a couple of pumps, right? couple of pumps. And, and you've got the, and the, the uh, lash the lifts right out. Yeah, I don't go anywhere without my eyelash curler. <laughs> well, that's probably one of those things you yeah. learned in the yeah. business that, that worked so well. I don't even wear mascara half the time if I have a good eyelash curler. Um, I just use that and it brings out my lashes and... And you know, in order to, yeah, of course. And in order to set that, my favorite mascara to set the curl in the eyelashes is the Lash Discovery waterproof. And there's two reasons, because girls really hate waterproof. It takes a long time I to get it off. Every day, every day you wake up, you're like a raccoon yeah. again. This can almost wash off, yeah. but it, do, it doesn't have any water in it. Because what happens when you curl it, you don't want to put a, a water-based mascara on that, because that'll just, that'll wet the lash just enough for it to fall back down. I want to keep this, I want to oh. keep this curled up, so I'm just going to rock a little of this at the base and pull out, and I'm done. You know, I like and that's rock all. It a little bit. That's well, you have to kind of get because yeah. that's where all the curl is. Yeah. And this is not going to bring the curl down, and it will set the curl, and it'll stay all day. You're going to be like, wow, my my lashes never came down. Uh, the other thing is that once you've gotten this done. You're, that's it, that's all the waterproof you need. The rest of it, you can add more mascara on top of it, you can add lashes into it, you can do anything you want, but already, I mean, what we're getting is just, especially for the camera, you know, this is gonna be fantastic. Joseph makes me feel very good, because you have to remember, he worked with me when I was 17, and I'm an older girl now, and you still make me feel so beautiful, you know. I'm glad, he's, he's not a, he's, he's very much into just women just being beautiful at, at any age. That, that there's no expiration date, that beauty's an inside job. And that, you know, what I love about you, it's like, you're beautiful just as you are today. You know, that yeah. we are, yeah. you know, in the moment, in the, in the and it's such Being a who you are right now. Being who you are right now. And we're playing with makeup. Isn't that fun? Isn't that what girls yeah. love? Ladies, you got to love it. you got to ha be having a good time watching right. this happen. Yeah. And, and you know, you, also because, you know, even with the animation and everything that I'm picking up from Don as we're, as we're enjoying this time together, which we <laughs> always do. We In always fact, do. the clients are always running that back going, how much longer? <laughs> What's all the yak going yeah, on back here? And I'm like, <laughs> we're catching up. But we're working. We're working. But you see, even the more that... That, that the animation in her face and everything, it's just, it's accepting, it's accepting the, the colors, the, the, the powders, the highlighter, the concealer, is accepting it. There's very little on her face, believe it or not, very little. So, because it's been blended back so much and it's just becoming more and more, your under, under coloring is coming back through. 
Um, so let's see, Don, what do you think? I, I don't know. We usually work a little bit on your eyebrows, but I always kind of like your eyebrows pretty natural um, at first. I, I mean, you've got such beautiful brows. You don't, you know, this is a beautiful shape. If anybody ever wanted to study a really good shape for an eyebrow, that would really be it, particularly on her individual needs. I mean, that suits her eye beautifully. But for women who, you know, um, have maybe overplucked and it's a little right. thinner, do you do, do, would you suggest something? Um, well, you know, I, I know you in, in the, in, we have, we, ha we do have a couple of videos out on, on eyebrows. Yeah, They're the very, they do really explain yeah. what to do. Uh, right now, because I'm kind of keeping this really, really natural. Right, right. Um, so go to those other videos. Like well, we'll video come back to it later <laughs> when I'm doing yeah. when I'm starting to add a little bit more makeup right. in. Okay. So all I'm going to do is use a little, you know, oh. a little eyebrow, uh, you know, it's just a little eyebrow set. Mm -hmm. um, it yeah, says like Maybelline it. Brow Styling Gel. Yeah. Can't beat that. I love. I love. It's got a tiny. Brow. It's got a tiny bit of tint to it, mm -hmm. so it's not just. You just, but you just brush this up and it will, sorry. It'll stay up too, which is nice. Well, it, it, that's, that's the, that's the idea. Yeah. And I love that for a natural look. Now, um, it's just brushing it up. Maybelline came out with a pretty decent product. Um, and this will help it stay yeah, up. Yeah, it'll help it stay up. Yeah. It just... And you can see that that's kind of all you want to do to a pair of brows that good for a natural look. If I added just a little bit of, just a little bit of this to the mouth, just to bring that shine up. You get, get smack that for me? Yeah, that's fine. You know, just a little bit of shine. I kind of feel like that's, that's pretty good. I, I think I will just, Add a little bit of mascara to the underneath. Just a tiny bit, look way up for me. Just a tiny bit, just a... Just to bring that out. I kind of like a little bit of mascara under the eye when you want that sort of, what do they call it, the baby doll look or the... Yeah, you know, it's a little bit 60s in a way. Well, that's another story. Yeah. That's another story. That's another video. No, this is just to, mm -hmm. and then what I like to do at this stage always, look up, is I like to take my Q-tip. And it's not just because I want to clean up any mascara that I might have dotted under the eye, like of course I did, and I'm, and I'm cleaning that. Okay. But I can get rid of the makeup there. I don't need it there. I don't need that makeup there. So any of this little Q-tip, very softly done, We'll just take a little bit more. If there's any creasing going anywhere, the Q-tip is the answer, man. Agreed? Okay, let me show you a mirror. You tell me what you think. Okay. So I took the hair down, right? Let's yeah. see what we got. I put a little product in that, and um, it's coming down kind of nice. I might use a little iron, a little blow dryer, and then I think we're going to be ready for our first shot. I love this final look. I feel very um, yeah? sun-kissed. You look beautiful. Look into the camera, darling. I am. It's important. <laughs> All right. Looking in the mirror, looking at the camera. No, it looks really, I, I feel really beautiful. feel really beautiful. Thank you, honey. Oh, honey. always. Okay.